shocking news has hit the football world. Hansi Flick has become the new favorite to become Barcelona coach. Fanatico will show you why the German manager is actually nearly the perfect option to lead this Barcelona team and how he will reshape the Cutlands to achieve success. Subscribe to us and let's get started! Barcelona, when choosing a new coach, must take into account the circumstances in which the club is currently operating. We mean, of course, the financial situation, which implies limited opportunities in the transfer market. In these conditions, the Cutlands cannot invite just anyone. They need a coach who will agree to a relatively small salary and will also be able to compete for trophies with a the squad they already have. Barca is actually in a pretty good position. The amount of pure talent in this team is sky-high. If they wait for players to return from injuries and gradually develop the youth, this team will turn into one of the most powerful in the world in one to two years, even without transfers. So Barcelona only need a suitable coach who can unleash the full potential of the available assets. For club president Juan Laporta, Jurgen Klopp was the number one candidate. However, the Liverpool coach's desire to take a break for a year after the end of the season remains unwavering, so the Cutlands have to look for an alternative. The candidacy of Hansi Flick has recently emerged. The former Bayern coach is also Laporte's idea. Barca's president has been a long-time admirer of the German coaching school, and even before Xavi's arrival, he seriously considered the German coach's appointment. He was complimentary not only about Klopp and Flick, but also about Tuchel and Nagelsmann. However, at the time, none of these coaches were available for various reasons and the club was taken over by Xavi. Now the situation is different. Laporta still wants to see Flick, and Fabrizio Romano reported that the German coach himself is open to the job. According to Javi Miguel, the president wants to have an experienced coach with a strong character who can unite the players into a single unit. The only obstacle so far is the Kotlin sporting director Deco, who wants to appoint Porto coach Sergio Conceição. Miguel writes that according to the sporting director, Barca need a younger coach who is able to adapt to different conditions and who has ambitions to take the next step in his career. All the other candidates who were linked to Barcelona in one way or another are gradually dropping out. For example, Mikel Arteta and Michel have already announced that they will not become the new manager of the Blaugrana this summer, while Rafa Marquez and Thiago Mota are not being considered by the management. So now it's unlikely that there is anything to stop Laporta from appointing Flick, as it's the president who has the final say in everything. Like this video if you'd be interested to see Flick at Barca. In any case, Hansi Flick's appointment does look almost perfect for the current Barca. The only doubt is Flick's poor experience with the German national team, from which he was fired last September. However, this appointment has way more advantages, and now let's talk about them. First, Flick will improve the defensive play. The link is the weakest in the current Barca. The Cotlands have already conceded 30 goals in La Liga this season. For comparison, during the entire last season, they conceded only 20. Defense is something that Hansi fixed very quickly when he took over Bayern in 2019. His team presses the opponent high, not allowing them to play the ball near their goal. Here is an example from Flick's debut game in charge of Bayern against Borussia. Munich blocked all the way to pass the ball, which resulted in an interception. As soon as the opponents started to build up, Bayern's players immediately engaged in aggressive pressing. And it paid off! Bayern not only took the ball away, but also launched dangerous counter-attacks. Flick is also a big fan of counter-pressing. Just look at how Bayern's players switch on immediately after losing the ball. It's not surprising that for Laporta, the candidacy of Flick was the next after Klopp. The principles and vision of the game of the two coaches are as similar as possible. Barcelona fans can expect this to happen very soon, as Flick instantly instilled these principles in Bayern. After all, Barca fans have experienced what Hansi's team is like. In the 2019-20 season, it was Flick who led Bayern, which defeated the Cotlands 8-2 in the Champions League. It should be recalled that Bayern won the tournament that season some experience of winning major competitions. 
This is another big positive. According to unconfirmed information, Laporte and Flick secretly met a few days ago, and Boris's president was pleased with what he heard. Flick wants to build a team around Gavi. He wants Gavi to be an aggressive protagonist in his words. The German coach's idea is clear there. He sees the Spaniard as a boosted version of Müller. In Bayern, Thomas was the link that ensured the effectiveness of pressing and counter-pressing thanks to his energy and aggressive play. Gavi not only possesses all these qualities, but also surpasses his German counterpart in ball handling skills. Second thesis. Lewandowski should stay. Flick wants the pole to compete for a place with Vitor Roque. A very wise decision. It would be foolish to start the season with only one center forward. In addition, the young Brazilian can learn a lot from Robert and will have a reliable backup. Third, Kimmich is a dream transfer. This move will be possible if the young is sold. That is, the team will have either one or the other. In fact, the sale of the young and the purchase of Kimmich will be financially beneficial for Barca, because the Dutchman can be sold for more than buying a German. In addition, Jozua's salary will be significantly lower than the young's 18 million euros per year. For the structure of Lick's play, Kimmich is the perfect fit. When in possession, Bayern switched to a 3-1-4-2 formation. Jozua dropped from the midfield to the center backs and used his skills to launch attacks. These also allowed the fullbacks Davies and Pavar to engage in attacks a lot. In Barcelona, we can expect a similar structure. That is, the Catalans will start the match and defend in a 4-2-3-1 formation, with Gavi playing the role of Müller and changing the formation to 4-4-2 depending on the situation. In possession, we will see a switch to Flick's favorite 3-1-4-2 with Kimmich in the same role. However, even if Kimmich's transfer does not happen, Frankie will be able to do the same. Such a restructuring will not only improve the quality of the build-up, but will also unleash the attacking potential of the full-backs, Cancelo and Balde. This is especially true for Alejandro, who has recently slowed down a bit in his development. We have already mentioned that Flick does not need transfers to improve Barca's game. This is true, the squad already has enough depth to implement the coach's ideas. Gündogan can successfully fill Gavi's role, and he can also replace Pedri. On the right side of the defense, young Ford is an alternative to Cancelo. In the center of defense, Christensen and Kunde are great alternatives to Araujo and Kubarsi. In attack, Lewandowski can play instead of Roque. Vitor in turn will be able to replace the wingers and play on the left or right. No matter how you look at it, at the moment Flick looks like the best and almost perfect option for a crisis-ridden Barca. This is a coach who can both develop players and produce results. And most importantly, this team will have an identity. Laporta will get the German coach he wants, and the fans will get a solid, well-organized team united around one idea. The latest evidence of Flick's connection to Barca was published by the reputable German journalist Christian Falk. He reports that Hansi has started learning Spanish because he wants to get a new challenge this summer. Wonder what it is? Any clues? Hansi Flick is an excellent coach. He is very straightforward. He always tells you in your face what he thinks. He is calm. You have to make a big mistake to make him angry. Flick's trainings are intense, but always with a ball. Flick's style of play is similar to Barca's, says the Spaniard Javi Martinez, who played under Flick in Bayern. Friends, write in the comments whether you like the idea of Hansi Flick being appointed Barca's head coach and whether he can succeed with the Catlins. Fanatico channel was there for you. We love football as much as you do. Watch our other videos and see you soon. Bye-bye!